We're here with Jamie Howell, Kingstonian assistant manager, or actual manager for today, after a 1-0 win to kick off the season against Haringey Borough. Um, Jamie, that's a decent enough start. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes in the, the first game of the season, the result's more important than the performance. I think um, if Hayden was here, I don't think he'd be pleased with certain aspects of, uh, of our performance. But, you know, uh, the first game of the season, the result's the most important thing. And to come away with three points, I thought the boys did really well. I guess one thing you must be pleased with is the clean sheet. You know, we've got probably three of what people would assume to be the first choice back four out today. You've then got Jerry going up injured at half time. Yeah. And we haven't, it's not just that we haven't conceded, we haven't given away many chances as well. No, I thought we defended, you know, well today in general, just in general play. I think, um, you know, we've been in the last couple of minutes, we've a couple of high balls coming. I thought Rob came out pretty really clean and just took the pressure off us when we needed to. So I don't think it's going to be a vintage performance <laughs> in Kingstonian history, but. You know, it's a long season and uh, it's a good start for us. And three points are on the board, and it gives us a platform to move forward. And you've obviously you kind of joined the club. Did you even were you even here for a competitive game at the end of last season, or did you join just to finish it? I mean, I came sort of a bit in sort of October, and that probably had probably my first competitive game to be honest with you. And, and obviously, your first competitive game, and you're in charge of the, uh, the the lads as well. Yeah, you know, I think all fair. You know, Aidan's done a brilliant job in pre-season. He's got the lads ready. I think we've assembled a good squad. Uh, Like, um, how much? What, how would you expect that to work between now and the next game in terms of his kind of feedback? And well, I think he'll be in a, he'll watch the game and he'll have his ideas of it. And obviously, you know, I think we'll, we'll have a conversation. I'm sure we'll have a conversation in about ten minutes' time. And um, yeah, I think we we we'll agree on most things that things that we did well, and there were certain things we need to improve on. Um, I think we defended well. I thought we had good ball in areas, but I don't think maybe we had enough shots and crosses. He's been excellent. I think he's been a real fine. I think you know, he's come from the, uh, the academy in Nigeria. I think he's been a great team. So him, Tayo, Declan, two of the young players, in my opinion, have really good careers. You know, they're not going to start every game. I think he's someone that's got a dip them in and out. They've had his experience. I think he's helped along the way a little bit as well. I think they've been fantastic players. Declan coming on at half time. And, you know, not a scenario as a centre back you really want to be thrown on. But No, I think he can now. Team. They really helped the young lads. I thought Beanie, Gus, got some really good lads here, and uh, I think they helped the young players. So, yeah, I'm sure they'll be well keep it. Normally, this early in the season, you'd kind of go Saturday and then a midweek game, and then Saturday and midweek. We don't have that this season. As a coaching staff, do you like that extra time between now and Saturday to kind of work on some things? I think, to be honest with you, I think I'm a bit, I don't know the reasons why. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I normally play Saturday, Tuesday. And we do that, we sort of front end the load at the start of the season to get the games done. and. Uh, I like that. I think the players want games. You know, for the amount of times we've missed competitive matches, it's great here, great for the crowd. You know, sunny days, everything we wanted for a long, long time. And um, yeah, a bit disappointing. I like to be playing Tuesday, especially the result we just had, and build momentum. But um, no, we've got a tough game next week. Um, we've got a tough two or three games, and um, yeah, we need to try just a massive point. In terms of um, players and availability and stuff, who, who can you, who's going to be back? I think Fabio's back. He's, he's good at penalties, to be fair, Gus. They, you know, they have a lot of fun in training and practices, and he's all the comes out on top. But, no, I thought I could feel for Harry Gay. You know, I thought they, they worked hard and you know, they, they did well. And um, it seemed a soft penalty maybe from their position. But it was a penalty, you know, from my angle. Um, again, but maybe soft, but it seemed to be a penalty. And you know, I just liked to be on the right end of a good decision. Indeed. Well, I don't think we need to mention the fact that you know Hayden's first two. Hayden's first season in charge. We haven't won in the first few games in either of those other two seasons. So maybe, 
maybe it's good that he wasn't here today, and maybe it's good that you were here. To be fair, like I say, he's put a lot of hard work into it, and I know he's been, you know, really disappointed he's not here today with the fans and um, you know, seen the team play. But um, you know, he's done brilliant. Like I say, he's with a really good team. He's put a lot of hard work into into pre-season, and um, you know, he'll be back sooner or later. And we all want him back. He'll be back. Indeed, I felt like the uh, decimal level uh, in the dugout uh, was uh, lower than it normally is. Yeah, maybe a little bit different for that one, but that, so maybe before I'm not in so many bands as I <laughs> Well, we'll see you next week. Give me the answer. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Cheers.